welcome to the Cafe of Knowledge. Oh, you ain't do your little thing today. What little thing? All up in the camera. With well, they already know what's going on. What? Okay. Well, today, y'all, uh, appreciate y'all. Please hit like and subscribe, please. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, today's topic is from Vicky Reed. Uh, it's when the party ain't what you thought. Okay. And that could go a whole lot of different ways, but that's the topic. When the party ain't what you thought. So, uh, meaning I could I could tell you like this. You ever went you ever been invited to a party and you know, like somebody tell you, you know, come over to the party, whatever, and you go over to the party and it's a kid's party. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like why y'all didn't tell me it was for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like they just say they're gonna be throwing down, you know, come on over. We gonna have a party, whatever, yeah. and then you could bring a date or something like that, and then it's a whole. Yeah, it's come, it's a yeah, kid party. You kind of dressed up. Okay, yeah. And it's, yeah it's, it's a, a kid party. Kid you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I'd be like, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but just let me know, cause yeah. then I came and I ain't buy the kid nothing. You know, like I didn't bring a gift or nothing for the little kid. I just thought it was a party. Or it can be the opposite. What's that? And then like. You get invited to an event or a party. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're not familiar with these people and how they roll. And then you go and it turns out to be like an orgy party or something like that. Yeah, well, they, they do, they, yeah, they, <coughs> they, 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 they do, they do have that, you know, they, they do have where you, you be invited. And, and see, that's the thing because there's a lot of that going around these days and it's getting to where. People are kind of low key getting in trouble for it. You know what I'm saying? For parties that they been doing, but then somebody else will come and feel uncomfortable. See that? That's why I feel like you gotta keep you it. You know what I'm the, saying? Yeah, you gotta keep it in the square. Like for an example, when I was a little bit younger. I, <clears throat> me and an old acquaintance of mine, we threw. Orgy parties. Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, but the conglomerate of people that we had coming to it already were filled in and knew what was going on. Like we right. would have, well, see, that's that's the difference. We called, see, that's what I'm we called it movie night. Yeah, we right. called it movie night. That was the whole name. Right. We'll come have a movie. We got food, beverage, drinks, and everything, and then we'll start. We'll see. Of course, the movie is gonna wind people down or getting people comfortable, and then it's like, hey, let's play a game. But everybody knew, everybody who came there knew that that's what it was, right? After a while, yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you how it started. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 because okay. how I started, this is how I started. This is how we winged them out. So, winged them out? <laughs> so, what kind of shit is so, this? So, look. Go ahead. We came, and then, so, we would do, we'd be like, let's play a game. A game? What kind of game? Mm-hmm. We'll play, um, it can be anything from... Never had ever to truth or dare to, you know, um, I don't know. This one girl, she had a particular game, yeah, right or like you play something like, yeah, I know what you're saying, Twister but or how did you like that, yeah. Them out? And so, well, while you're playing the game of Twister right. or Truth or Dare, right, or whatever, right, 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 the ones who seem as if they're not open enough to, you know, get down on the thing or whatever, and, and you know, get close to other people, or maybe like Truth or Dare, like the dare is something maybe simple, like. Give him a kiss or whatever, or give him a lap dance, something like that. Something simple, childish. Right. But if they act like they can't do that, they're not willing to open up. Okay, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we're not gonna, we're gonna go ahead and die it down for this person. And then, all right, y'all, we probably get ready to go. Let them lead, and right. you know, we know what's up. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. And, and after a while, then everybody comes back. Right, and, and, and then y'all do. But see, that that's what I'm saying. I understand that. But see, now you got where some people are getting low key in trouble. For the way their sexuality appetite is, you know what I'm saying, and that's because they either not telling people what it really is, mm -hmm. or see <laughs> nowadays you just got to go and tell people because see people love to try to sue you for just your Nikes you got on your feet. You see what I'm saying? Because they just money hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nowadays you have to kind of just go ahead on and tell them what kind of party it is. And then, if they agree to come, then fine. But it's not going to always work like that because 
if you do that, you know you ain't going to gather up a lot of people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. For instance, like I know that I, I I be around a lot of people slash stars slash very wealthy things like that, but that was that's my career. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and they will say like, hey, I'm throwing a party. Okay, well, I have went over to their house slash mansion mm -hmm. to do business work. We trying to figure out how we gonna get this company rolling and what, 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 what. Okay. So you already see the nice house, you know, you already see all that, you know, you got you got the yacht right there in the backyard yeah. and all that. You're not in the backyard, but on the lake, you yeah. know. Okay, so then you do business with them people or maybe you have just went over there because that's one of your homies or your friends or something like that. You don't realize that every Tuesday they throw parties, mm. right? And then one day, I don't know that what it is that a, about you at that moment, they want to invite you to the party. Because, see, they always do this, mm -hmm. but they're very particular about who they invite. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then one day I just got the invitation. He was like, hey, me and my wife are having a big lavish party Tuesday night. He said, I said, Tuesday night? I was like, okay, whose birthday is it? It's like, no, it's not, it's not about my birthday. We do it every Tuesday. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I, I've been knowing you for about five years. I ain't know, you know. Yeah. But I was like, oh, okay. But when I went over there, I mean, it was jam-packed. You, you, know, you watch got, you got, uh, yeah, huh? Yeah, she ready now. What now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying, you know, when I, when I, when I pulled up, it was like, you can't bring your car inside the gate. Okay. It's, it's like, it's the own field that people park their cars in, which he owns. Mm -hmm. And you park your car there. Then the limousine will pick you up. And take you through the long oh, way, and Lord. then and then you know they let the that. right little helpers get up in that little but, situation. Up. But I'm just she saying. Ain't going nowhere. But but she but anyway, I'm just saying. <laughs> but anyway, you go in there, whatever. And but remind you, like I said, I have been going there before, and we was all strictly everybody's business, all managers, all corporate people. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. When the limousine was like, okay, get in, and, you know, okay, take me up to the doorway, it's jammed. It's jammed packed. So when I went in there, I was like, oh, you know, and I was dressed right because everybody was sharp, yeah. you know, and I was like, oh, okay. Soon as you go in the door, it's this group sex. Group sex right here, group sex right there. Oh, where, where my keys at? <laughs> oh, no, I can't stop in here. They ain't playing up in there. And then you had a guy that was like, um, how you doing? And then they give you the champagne, and it's on a, on a little platter, yeah. and then you get the champagne, and when they give you the champagne, they say, sign this. And so... When he when he had the champagne on the platter, I'm looking at the group sex, but you can keep the champagne. I don't want <laughs> none. I go to the stokey so that's I'm just trying to go. But now I got how do I get the limousine to take me back? Right? <laughs> but I'm saying sometimes you could get stuck in a situation yeah, yeah. that you don't know is that situation. Yeah. So when he says sign this, and I was like, no, I'm not signing that. I said I'm just gonna get ready to leave. And he said, well, you still have to sign it. Before you leave. I said, I ain't signing none of that. You might well go get them right now. <laughs> and I told them their name. Yeah. I said, you you might well go get them right now. Because this ain't my first time being in this house. But it's my first time being in this house with ass and, and, and titties <laughs> and stuff all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, uh-uh. I, I ain't signing that. So he was like, well, okay. And they, he went on ahead and, you know, let me. It ain't no let me nothing. Because we everybody would have stopped. Everybody, we would have. I've been fighting everybody naked. <laughs> everybody naked. I'm going upside your head. You see what I'm saying? But 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 my thing is, you know. That came like, in the party creating straight chaos. <laughs> but the, who invited this lady? But it's just like you said. You know, but the thing about it is, I didn't go back. Telling nobody nothing, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because, like you said, maybe they was watching me as like, uh, you know, she don't talk, she don't mingle with people, she don't this, and they probably felt like 
I would be an okay candidate. Mm -hmm. I don't know what made them think I was a goddamn candidate. For because that you pretty. Because I ain't bad, 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 no pretty. You, pretty. you got to watch some. You got to see. They were supposed to say every Tuesday night. Man. We be we be throwing down ass titties and man, we swap partners and stuff. And I'd be like, oh no. See, I wouldn't even waste my time putting on my <laughs> gear. If I'd have knew that, that's why they were talking about getting down. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is you need to tell people yeah. first because that's what the title is when a party is not what you thought. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was thinking that basically it was going to be some of my co-workers you know, you and things yourself. like that. Well, you know, but when I went to work the next day, because mm -hmm. it was on a Tuesday, do this every Tuesday. That's so weird. when I went to, <laughs> I know, right? But when I went to work that Wednesday, I was still like, what's up? And he was like, because he looked like he didn't know how to say hello yeah, yeah, to yeah. me because I'm quite sure that door person who turned my sign and something and whatever, yeah. and you know, they have cameras and stuff, mm -hmm. and they like, that's her. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, all right. And I'm a top dog, too, in the company. Yeah. So it was almost like he didn't know how to the next day when we was at work, and uh, he didn't know really what to say. I was like, what's up? I was like, why are you so quiet today? <laughs> and it relaxed him like, whew. Yeah. Like she don't think of me any different, yeah. which yeah. I didn't. I just yeah. wish that your ass would have told me, <laughs> you know, what it was. Yeah. But I ain't even hit him with that, you yeah. know. Yeah. And so he didn't even say, did you come? He knew I came because yeah. he was too quiet, yeah. you know. Yeah. But once he saw that, I was like, what's up? How you doing? Whatever. But it stayed there and left there. And after that, I got no more invitations for uh, Tuesday. <laughs> they, they didn't give me no more invitations for yeah. that. But yeah. what I'm saying is it happens like that. So... You know, women and men, sometimes you have to be careful mm -hmm. about, you know, like you going to a party and you thinking it's a party. Sometimes it's good. Nowadays, you just got to ask questions. Is y'all going to be uh, doing the orgy? Is it going to be orgy? Is it going to... They might say no or whatever, but if you get down like that, there's nothing wrong with it because there's a lot of freaks out here now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of freaks out here. If you could just be honest or, you know what yeah. I'm saying... Or uh, 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 something be like, you know, I get down like this. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a lot of that at the party, but yeah. I'm just telling you how I get down. You know, invite somebody like that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Instead of, because it's a lot of strippers do that. It's a yeah. lot of strippers that, you know, when they doing their little strip dance and this, that, that, they get starstruck mm -hmm. with all these stars and stuff. Yeah, and then the they want to go back to the. After party, you, got the you right see cash? what I'm saying? Yeah, you some of that yeah, and what you think, bro? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they want to go back. They, they want to go back to the after party. The but they do. They want to go back to the after party, and they want to be, you know, just in the click. Mm -hmm. And when they get there, sometimes it just don't turn out right. That's not what they intention. What they was intention well, for going over there, yeah. having a good time or something. Yeah. But they didn't know that. They was going to be some, they something going to drop in their drink and they going to yeah, drink it, it and start getting dizzy. That, that still keeps stuff and all professional. That. So, yeah, you right. right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's some that keep it professional and then it's some that they do love to party. And then you have some people, some people that will tell strippers or anybody else in the club or whatever. It's like, hey, you want to come? They done dropped you a whole bunch of money there. And then they say, you want to come back to the house and we'll pay you double. But we just don't want to stay right here because it's too crowded. I'm telling you, uh -huh. you got to listen. You got to pay attention to what you're dealing with. Because if you can drop me an extra at your house, you can drop me an extra here. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't need to go 15, 20 miles down the road or longer for you to drop me extra money with your homeboys. But you have to watch that women, and it's some men that get caught up like that with some women too. You know what I'm saying? It is. Now, I don't, I don't, you Chippendales. know, I, I don't, I don't hear, what? Somebody said my Chippendales. <laughs> yeah, it's some Chippendales that done got caught like that too now. It's some Chippendales or whatever men, exotic dancers that entertain women parties. Yeah. So I just can't say it's just Chippendales because... I don't want the Chippendales be coming up in here on my on our damn channel talking about, we don't do that. <laughs> you know, it's just that uh, I'm just male entertainers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got a lot of them out here that they will go to a woman party <laughs> and yeah. you do got women 
that, um, you know, they get freaky when they get drunk and stuff, and they take advantage of that stripper. But that stripper, that male stripper is really, he got a family at home. He just do this for the cash. He ain't studying nobody. He don't care how fine they look and all that. But it's some women that'll try to try to bum rush that stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't I don't heard of some try to bum rush them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's almost like they horny. You know, and they just die. everybody. He can't do all y'all. Why y'all all up on him like that? So it does happen to men as well. But you just have the people. Uh, that was the topic, and I think it was a it was an urgent topic this week because it was so many people that was saying. How about when you go to a party and the party ain't what you thought? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that can go a lot of different ways, but it's really becoming a problem on that sexual end. You know what I'm saying? It real. And them frat parties too. Them frat parties is no ex ain't no exclusive. Them frat parties is something, boy. If you if you don't watch it, I'm telling you, you be navigating through the dark. And then uh folks all, I haven't been to frat parties too. But when I see it's getting too wild, I'm like, oh, no, let me get my crown. Because, see, I came with my own throne. So I just get uh, my crown. Oh, you get your crown? Well, watch I this. get my crown. Watch this. Because if I done set my crown down and, you know, wants to have fun, and then I see that this it, this shit ain't looking right, I'll go right over there and put my crown up because I came good. with my own throne. I'm going to leave out of that. Right. Yeah. Watch this. Watch what? When I go. Yeah. With my crown on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I ain't, I ain't, because see, because see, this is what I do. See, this is how know. women do. Women, <laughs> women, let me tell you. Don't be a basic queen. Oh. Okay? You, you got your basic queens, and then you got your high quality queens. Yeah. Okay? So, we all still queens now. You just got some that basic. You know what I'm saying? But when I come into a party... You can't be a basic queen. Uh-huh. You can't be a basic queen. No, I said you That's have... That's a commoner. You have basic queens and then you have red queen. Yeah, you can be a basic queen because, see... No. All... See, my women out here are queens. I ain't gonna call them no less. Now, they might not be a high-quality queen. Might be just basic queen, but they're still queens. You know what I'm saying? I ain't okay, you got the no Queen less. Elizabeth queens. You got a crackhead queen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It don't matter what it is. It's still a queen. They still queens in my book. You know, because they can always get clean and become a, a high quality queen. So they, they have on the inside is a queen on the inside. I feel for every woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying on the inside, it's a queen in every woman. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to fight with you on that. It's just a matter of how you present it. You see what I'm saying? And if you present it in a crackhead way, then you're a crackhead queen. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So that's just the way it is. But but what I but what see you throw me all off. No, I, but <laughs> but this is what I was saying because you were talking about the the I put my queen down my uh, crown down. Yes, what I do when I go into a party, I don't go in acting like I'm the shit. So I put my queen aside, my crown aside, mm. because. I want to mingle with y'all. I like that. Yeah. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to go in there okay. and I'm going to be like everybody else. I'm not going to act like I have more than everybody else. I'm not going to act like... Oh. Now, I might walk in there and you might say, wow, she's sharp. But I'm not going to act like I'm above you. Mm. So I'm going to party with everybody. But soon as I see your party is turning to the left side of the road and it ain't looking good, I'm going to walk back. I'm going to pick, pick my crown up. I'm going to put it back on and I'm going to walk out because... I got to get back on the queen Ooh, level. You know what I'm saying? Lie, so, that's, that, that's just how... I like how you did that. That's just how that go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm better than y'all. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't on my teeth. You see what I'm saying? Ooh, and then I leave. You okay, know? So, okay. so that, that that's the thing about that. So, ladies, uh, you know, I know it happens to men too, but more often with ladies. And we just wanted to, del to deliver that message to y'all. That be careful what you do. Be careful going to parties that you might think is one thing and it turns out to be another. And then you have to educate yourself on if you get caught in that situation, how to pull yourself out of it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because that's where a lot of peer pressure, you know, you'd be like, I don't want everybody to think 
that I, you know, I'm a party pooper, or maybe you went with your homegirl, and you know it's not right, you trying to tell her it's not right, and she's like, no, girl, come on, come on, you see all these dudes in here, come on, come on, and they saying, no, nah, I don't feel too good about it. If you don't feel too good about it, pull yourself out. And even if you can't get your friend to pull out, you just have to leave your friend. Because it's it's something wrong. If something in you say this is not right, nine times out of ten, it's not right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the only thing about women just need to be careful and stop being so starstruck and because uh, they throwing a yacht party or frat party and you see all these two-seaters and Mercedes and Corvettes and stuff, you so struck with the material thing, then get up in there and then they flip you around like a flapjack. You know what I'm saying? And then you wake up crying and moaning and all that and now you want to try to get something done about it and it's hard to get something done about it when you put yourself in that situation. Right. You see, it, it's something that could be done, but it's going to take a hell of a lot to do. So anyway, hey, she did that's it. all I, you, you know, it. that's 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 you that's all that. I got to yeah, say about you did that. that. You did that. You so, did that. So anything else you want to say? And yeah, we we had a guest today. Some we we normally do have a guest in our audience or something. So we just want to say thank you for the guest. You know, she's remained anonymous, but we did have a guest today, and we want to tell her to thank you for yeah, I'm uh, showing sure you up her laughing on the and everything. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's all we have for today. How about you? Oh, uh, you want to give? Uh, I mean, no, no, no. That's about it. We done. We we'll talk about. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm still. Oh, you know what? You said that gain knowledge <laughs> to prevent all. blockage. And we all know what in that means. The more you know, Nick. the harder it is for anybody to block oh, y'all from y'all goals and Swing. success. Bye-bye.